Well, I see Europe um, in a completely different light because, for example, look at the uh, economic power that Europe has. Countries are standing in queue, in line, to uh, negotiate free trade uh, treaties, agreements uh, with Europe, for example. So uh, Europe has uh, managed to speak with one voice what the Brexit negotiations are concerned. We are very sorry about the Brexit, you know that, mm. but uh, we uh, managed to speak with one vo voice to have a firm position. And interestingly, over the last two years, Europe managed to start the European Defence Union, so to step forward in a completely new field, to take on responsibility, to show to our public a Europe that protects means we have to be able to act in our neighbourhood when it's our interest, our concern. I'm wondering if there's new leadership needed from Germany yet again. It is the strongest economy in Europe. It has one of the best economic profiles still. Uh, and I spoke to Oliver Beth from Allianz early on this morning, who said, no, Germans are right not to spend money, not to be spendthrift, and actually just because people are telling them to do so. This comes right back down to your mandate as well, because people, whether it be within Europe or, or more vociferously the President of the United States, have targeted you, have targeted your department and said, go forth and spend money. You have an obligation to spend money. Now, I know that you are spending more, but you're nowhere near the kind of commitments that Germany ha has committed to spending on defence as well. I've got a question for you. Why is it taking so long for you to get to the kind of levels that you've promised to get to? Because the starting point five years ago was extremely low. Mm. Uh, you know, after reunification, we all thought a peace is dominating and we all cut back in our armed forces. And the German armed forces was at this um, absolute lowest level mm. uh, five years ago when I uh, came into office. Now we have uh, the fifth time in a row a rise in budget, mm. overall 36%, so one third on top already, which is quite a lot in a large budget we have for the armed forces.